74-year-old Lee Kok Hua once lived in Selangor, Malaysia with his wife. But two years ago, his wife had a car accident and became bedridden. Then Siji started assisting them financially. In March last year, his wife died from bacterial infections in her lungs, which caused him to grieve. Fortunately, Siji volunteers constantly encourage him. Now he has recovered from his grief and started a new chapter of his life. The Kok Hua seems very tough, but when his wife died, he grieved deeply. In the past, I'd buy newspapers or watch TV to spend my days. Otherwise, I'd weep whenever I thought of her. We just kept him company all the time. Then the charity team invited him to attend a class for volunteers so he could unleash his emotions and stress. Whenever I'm at home and have nothing to do, I'll think about the past. But if I have something to do, I won't think about the past. Right now, I always look forward. When he started to give, his mind also opened, especially when he visited needy families. I'm more fortunate than them. I'm much older, but I'm still healthy. I can still walk and go outdoors, but they are bedridden and cannot move. The visits allows him to realize he is fortunate and does not lack anything. Although he is qualified for Ciji's financial assistance, he declines the gesture. Since I can be independent, I should be self-sufficient. I can't keep thinking about getting every cent from Ciji because it isn't right. I hope Ziji can give money to people who need it more than me. From recipient to becoming a giver, Lee Kok Wan has changed his life for the better.